Great greetings, everyone. This is Jam. I'm a and that. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is part, uh, what is part, uh, four. part four. Your information. <laughs> of, uh, uh, yeah. Get it. <laughs> of Captain, uh, Toad, Treasure Tracker. Captain Toad. And now we're going to be heading to Spin Wheel Bullet Bill Base. While we're doing that, uh, I'm going to be unboxing a Blu-ray I just got in the mail. Although it's not really an unboxing because it's in an envelope. So I'll be doing a de-enveloping? Yeah, I guess. An un an unenveloping? An envelope opening. Yeah, I guess that's what uh, it is. I'm gonna called. open an envelope. That's now of course we're not on camera, so you can't see me doing this. But you can use the but mic. I'm, a, I'm about to open up a envelope. Oh gosh. I got my trusty scissors here. Oh no. Captain Toad, you not being able to jump is really affecting this. Oh no. Toad can't jump. Captain Toad can't. Oh my. Wait. Well, I can't Captain Toad jump. I don't know how I survived. Oh wait. I know what I can do. Let's get one of those diamonds. Look at that. Boom, look at how clever that was. That was great. I really like that collectible. Ah, uh, here we go. This is a Twilight Time Blu-ray. That doesn't, it doesn't look blue. It looks like a clear case. Yeah, they use clear, they, uh, Twilight Time a while back started using clear cases, which I like. I like but, these clear cases. Aren't they Blu-rays? They are Blu-rays. Blu-rays in a clear case. I don't know, that just doesn't seem right. Twilight Time... But it is, is left. Twilight Time thing. is what's known as a, um, a boutique Blu-ray label. They license older movies from other studios to do limited uh, Blu-ray runs. And these are usually movies that don't get um, released on Blu-ray by uh, the, the major studios anymore. A lot of cult movies, a lot of um, classic movies from the 60s and 70s and things like that. And um, some horror movies. Uh, what I got today is a Sam Peckinpah film with a long title Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia And the movie is about just that. There's this guy who lost his head and <laughs> someone has to retrieve it. Something to that effect. Wow. That's the only, that's all the detail I'll go into on this. This is a this is a family channel and this movie is not necessarily a family movie, so don't want to go into too much uh, detail. <laughs> Now we have some coins here, leading us to the star. Boom, there we go. Yay. I don't know if we got 100% or not, so we'll have to see. Speaking of movies that I can't discuss on the channel here. Collected the gold mushroom. Man, I missed the gold mushroom. I'll be getting a special delivery later today from uh, UPS. For another Blu-ray set I've been wanting for a long time. I'm finally getting the Hellraiser Scarlet Box set. <laughs> I'm so excited. First three movies are in it. Yeah, but we have a boss fight to do. Plus a whole bunch of goodies. So follow me at regardingfilm.com for more details. <laughs> if you're of sufficient age. Let's begin. Let's do a boss fight! Yeah. Level 10. 
The king of Pyro Puff Peak. I don't see any boss fight here. Let's just go. Oh, but like any Mario game nowadays, the boss fight just appears. Well, well the boss just appears, not the boss fight. But I guess the boss fight also technically appears. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh. It looks like a... Um, a dragon. Combination of... Um, it looks like a... Kind of like a cheeseburger. What? A cheeseburger? It looks kind of like a, a giant cheeseburger. With two big eyes on top of it. Also, kind of like a dragon, doesn't it? Because that's what it's supposed to be. Well, I it think. Looks like a dragon, too, I guess. I think it was intentionally made to look like a dragon. Wait, no, I don't want to go up that ladder. I thought I was going this way. Anyway. Right. Oh. Oh my gosh, I almost just died. I say I'm not a big fan of the fact that moving the Wii U gamepad also moves the camera. Is there a way to turn that off? Since the gamepad is not a wired controller. Ooh. That's clever. That's clever design here. I like that. Oh, mushroom. Alright. Go. Oh man. No, 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 no. Oh, a diamond. Oh my gosh. Wait, the lava's rising. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait, I didn't know that the lava would be. What? Does the lava continually rise or does it only rise when I get to a certain point? I'm pretty sure it actually only rises. What? Oh no! I died! Uh, so we're back. We are. Yeah. I was rushing through, so I kind of forgot to grab the mushroom. We were so, fighting the big cheeseburger again. Well, kind of never stopped doing that. Please be a mushroom. Please be a mushroom. No, not mine. I want help. Oh no. No. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, Toad, go. What? Oh, wait. Did I do it? Oh no. Nice. There, there he goes. Bye bye, dragon. I guess you can say he's a firefly. <laughs> he Wait. doesn't. He doesn't seem to be bothered by the heat too much. Yeah. Boom. He'll be fine. He's just a little dizzy. I guess. Collected forty-five coins. Nice. That's a nice number. But I didn't even get forty-five coins. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Yeah, because it's not checked. Get 23 though, then. Yeah. The hunt for the great bird's lair.